Chris Lynch with Epark Canterbury. Park at 264 Russie Road and go in the draw to win a trip to Samoa. Eparkcanterbury.co.nz The primary thing that I worry about is your rates increase, which is double inflation. And actually it's totally unsustainable for most houses, most businesses. So I looked at the, the um, government that has said they want to see 25% drop in their staff numbers across the board. I think councils should be doing a similar thing. You've got to cut your cloth to what you can afford, and 14% rates rise is not affordable. What would your view be if, say, suddenly we were going to add, you know, the, the timeline with regards to your dealing with council increased? Well, I that's to, the only way to do it. Well, I use as an example there the consenting department, where we've got a lady in consenting who's hell bent, built, bent on um, the disabled access. She actually doesn't know what the rules are. They're very simple. You just follow them. But no, she wants she wants us to have a disabled bar, a lowered bar. Disabled people actually they do we do table service there. You should, but you've you know table service you've got to serve food. Well, I can't have a liquor license without serving food. Mm -hmm. So they just don't understand. So that's the sort of person who's wasting time. Um, and there's a lot of those. And I just say I think you need to look very hard at staff levels because I think there is a lot of wastage. There's some very good people, but there's also some wasters. She's a waster. I see there's been a huge amount of activity um, talking about the art centre and you know the art centre is going to die. No, it's not. Your your 24 full-time managers there need to go. The whole lot. Um, I have a, a rent roll greater than what the art centre has. The art centre has two million rent roll. My rent roll is 2.6. I have two staff for that, me and one other at the moment. And that's how you should be trimming down. That's They would make a huge amount more money. Put it out private enterprise. There's plenty of businesses that would look after their art centre. In order to have a protest, protest, you actually have to lodge it with council. And we get these notices, and they're all aimed at the Bridge of Remembrance. I don't have a problem with that, except that they turn up with loud megaphones and talk to everyone with their megaphones jammed in their ear and um, that's also where all our tourists get dropped off from cruise ships. And the first thing they do is go and attack them all. That's not a good look for the city. I say, look, have them in the Cathedral Square. Your people who you're talking to will want to come and listen to you in Cathedral Square. Don't use our clients as your client base. So not good for the city. I think we need to stop allowing them to use the Bridge of Remembrance as, as the calling card. <laughs>